Folks, it ain't about the guy who drives by in a clean car when you're dirty. It's not his fault. It's you should figure out how to be clean. You should figure out how to do a job that doesn't involve you walking in mud all day. And that's possible because somebody else has done it. I don't buy the idea that, you know, the society the way it is right now, it has to be this way. Someone's always going to have to work at Burger King. Someone's always going to have to. I don't buy that. If you look at the broad spectrum of humans and human behavior from different cultures all over the world, it's pretty obvious to me that there's, there's a lot of different ways that people can act. We don't have to have fast food workers. We just need to figure out how to restructure society so everybody somehow or another plays a part, has something to contribute, has something to share. I mean, that's what a real society is supposed to be like. I give you some coconuts, you give me some fish. You know, we make a deal, and you do it back and forth and left and right. And when there's nothing to contribute, then you start looking, the president needs to give us jobs. We need jobs. So instead of something to contribute, you just find something to do with your time. And then it becomes about doing that more than it becomes about finding something to contribute. So society gets wrapped around becoming a part of a machine. Society, instead of becoming a bunch of individuals that are expressing themselves in unique ways and everybody sort of borrows and shares and, and sells this and you sell that and we all sort of figure out how we can contribute in a society, we got sidetracked and diverted into these boxes that they call companies and corporations and we got stuck into these containers they go cubicles or offices and we got forced into this system so our time instead of it being invested in making pottery or or fixing cars or doing something where you have a, a passion or you have some sort of a connection to instead of that you've sold your life to sit in a box and work for a machine an uncaring machine that demands productivity. It doesn't understand you. It doesn't want to understand you. No natural behavior. Everybody's wearing clothes they don't want to wear. Everybody's showing up and doing something they don't want to do. They have no connection to. That's the problem with our society. And then what's the reward for all this stuff? Go home, get a big TV. Go home, you're going to get a shiny belt buckle. You're going to get a nice purse. You're going to wear shoes that you couldn't afford last week. And every week we're trying to fill this hole in this 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 sad shadow of a life that we've been left with after work that you work eight to whatever the hours a day plus commuting and then you're like this and that's your life all that other stuff is not your life anymore all that other stuff is work and most of us have committed to that I know you've been there before and I've been there before and we we understand that it's a trap because we got out of it but for the people that are in it a lot of times they don't even understand it's a trap they just think it's a good job. They think they got dental. I'm doing really good. I got my own parking spot. It's got my name on it. And you're just a piece of a heartless machine that makes money. <laughs>